Welcome back. Now, McDonald's in Australia is experimenting with a new concept. The brand is trying to look more like a trendy city cafe and less like McDonald's. The Corner, a new cafe in Sydney's trendy inner west, doesn't look like anything special. A white frontage, rustic wooden seating, potted plants on the counter, quinoa on the menu and waiters wearing hemp aprons. But on closer inspection you'll see it's a McDonald's, but one with a difference. McDonald's Incorporated has tight-lipped about the cafe and a number of other learning labs it's opening in Australia. These include a typical McDonald's restaurant on the outskirts of Sydney that along with its usual fare offers build your own burgers and table service. Market experts say this experiment indicates that McDonald's is seriously worried about the tough competition. These are so-called fast casual chains opening up around the world, offering healthier food choices and more sophisticated service. I think McDonald's globally are going through a transition. That's been driven partially by the push towards healthy foods. Um, obesity is obviously ap in an epidemic. Um, sodas, um, you know, sugary drinks, there's a big backlash against them globally. So I think McDonald's has taken a broader look at the world and gone, well, we're in the breakfast, lunch and dinner business, so we have to look at how we fulfil that niche. And part of that niche is going to be fulfilling it in a healthy, socially responsible way. The only comment McDonald's would make is that it has no plans to roll out the corner to the rest of Australia. But it did acknowledge that some of the foods and concepts it is testing may be adopted elsewhere. So it seems the tough economic times are forcing some South Africans to sell off some of their assets. Many have been using internet websites to sell off their wares. Tonight we're joined by the country manager of the online classifieds OLX, Stephen Ballot, to speak to us about measures taken to ensure safety between sellers and buyers on these online classified websites. Stephen joins us now from our studios in Cape Town. Thanks Stephen for your time uh, this evening. Just firstly, how significant has this increase been? in online sales in January. Well, thanks for having me, Siki. I think one of the things that comes with growth, of course, is that um, you, you try to keep up with it, especially in a, in a booming industry like uh, online classifieds, as you mentioned. And January really for us has been massive compared to even the figures of last year that was already a, a big increase on the year before. What sort of things are people putting up for sale? I think mostly, especially in, on OLX, I think we really, uh, we're a bit different maybe than other classified sites or traditionally uh, the way that South Africans use newspapers for classifieds, in that we really try and uh, lure people to post the everyday stuff that's in their homes. And it's really paying off for our business. We can see massive growth in those categories of everyday items that maybe people thought isn't worth anything until they put up a good price, put the item on OLX, and they find that the buyers just come to them uh, and I think that's really an, a really nice story to tell. All right and we're going to talk a little bit about um, online safety because uh, I think one of the reasons South Africans have taken such a long time to get used to even transacting uh, online is because of, of safety concerns. We'll deal with that uh, in a moment. I just want to get through this January phenomenon of people um, putting up their stuff. Does that tell us anything about the state of our finances that maybe we're having to sell off things because uh, we're a bit cash strapped at this time of the month. I think so. I mean, you often see the, uh, I often watch social media uh, quite closely and you always see the, the trend in December where people just go hashtag key December boss. It's really the, the, they're living the great lifestyle and really sort of, uh, I think South Africans enjoy spending a good holiday time during December. And then once January hits, you often see a similar hashtag called January worry. And, and that worry really is about finances and it's about this big spending in December. And then what they do have is they have maybe unwanted Christmas gifts lying around, maybe some Samsung Galaxy phones or, some, or stuff like that. That's really a category that we can see growing quite strongly. It's un unwanted cell phones that people just post and they make a quick... Uh, say a few thousand rand by just posting these items on Olex and you find a lot of willing buyers out there. 
All right, so let's talk a little bit about safety then. I mean, there have been uh, concerns raised um, sometimes on talk radio by um, South Africans about how safe they are when they are um, doing these transactions. Uh, and it's not just uh, with OLX, Gumtree, for example, and other uh, online players as well. What are you doing as an industry to ensure that when I put something up and I, I meet a sell, a buyer, that my transaction is safe? So luckily for us, um, I think we're not really part of the financial transaction. That happens between two human beings by whatever method they see fit. So you'll just be able, we just make it, you, we just enable you to contact a seller if you're a buyer and for a seller to just get in touch with buyers. And in terms of making that offline transaction safe, I think the best that we can do is, is we really want to educate people and say, listen, it's, it's always best to, to keep the amounts that you carry with you small, try and keep it to cash. Um, I think it's, it's really important to not trust uh, a proof of payment. I think that's a, a, a well-known scam that people fake proof of payment documents. And then instead of, uh, instead of just trusting everyone, just wait for the money to clear in your account if you decided that you want to do uh, the transaction via EFT. And then once the money is cleared, I think that's, that's uh, perfectly, uh, uh, then it's clear that this, uh, this buyer that you, uh, that you uh, courted via Olex, um, that's a totally a... Uh, 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 that's going to be a cool transaction. I think the mm. the uh, the other part of it is also that um, S South African society as a whole. Uh, uh, I mean, we know uh, criminal activity is well documented on the news, on various media, mm -hmm. and that's unfortunately something that once you reach a certain level of of size, like we've done now with our legs, that um, th those kind of elements of society are simply reflected. Uh, 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 on our platform as well. And how, how are you going about this educating exercise for your customers? So I, th so I think we're lucky in the sense that all of our customers we know are uh, relatively online savvy and especially savvy with mobile phones because we've seen about uh, increase of about 500 percent literally year on year for mobile uh, uh, mobile listings uh, just for the previous uh, financial year. And uh, what people, when they're so savvy with their mobile phones, is that they can actually, they, they know how to use social media, they know how to, to read up, how to follow links around the internet. And what, so what we really try to do is, is we try to also uh, not only have OLX as a main site where we just uh, uh, facilitate uh, buying, buying and selling, but also to, uh, uh, to serve some content that's educational on our blog, for instance, saying, uh, five good tips for making yeah. a safe deal and often uh, if you go to our YouTube channel you'll see there's some videos there that that instruct okay. people how to trade safely and 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 and, and also posts around that uh, subject right. matter all right we'll leave it there thanks for your time today Stephen Ballot is the country manager for OLX our daily question and answer feature is up next stay with us